And lastly this week, according to a report just released by the Justice Department, the FBI has incorrectly kept nearly 24,000 people on a terrorist watch list on the basis of outdated or sometimes irrelevant information while missing people with genuine ties to terrorism who should have been on the list. The report says the mistakes pose a risk to national security because of the failure to flag actual terrorism suspects and an unnecessary nuisance for non-suspects who may be questioned at traffic stops or kept from boarding airplanes. By the beginning of 2009, this consolidated government watch list comprised about 400,000 people, recorded as 1.1 million names and aliases. The new report by the Justice Department's Inspector General provides the most authoritative statistical account to date of the problems connected with the list. The list has long been a target of public criticism, particularly after well-publicized errors in which politicians including Senator Ted Kennedy and Representative John Lewis showed up on it. People with names similar to actual terrorists have complained that it can take months to be removed from the list, and civil liberties advocates charge that anti-war protesters, Muslim activists, and others have been listed for political reasons.